Right, so my stress levels have been far too low for far too long. So today I've decided we're gonna get mildly infuriated. All right, first up, this woman's charger in my road during a six hour red eye flight. So first thing in the morning. Christ, that is just ridiculous. I mean, how you can use that and not realize that you're pissing everyone else around you off is beyond me. In my opinion, crimes on a plane should be worth double. And I reckon the person sat next to her should have every right to strangle her with that. Some people are literally the inverse of social anxiety and it really shows. To be fair, people who are this unbothered must live such peaceful lives. All right, next. Ordered a framed photo of my girlfriend and I for her birthday today and just gave it to her to open. This is not a picture of us. Who the f are these guys? We're in our 20s and I have no idea who these people are. If anyone's looking for this picture, I have it for you. That's so funny. This is probably some old dude and his son, maybe. They're like, their cherished memory. I wonder if they found out, like, through the power of the internet, who these people were and swapped the photos back. All right, next up. Smart appliances were a mistake. Why is my LG washing machine using 3.6 gig of data per day? What the hell? And what happened at this time? Is some randomer in another country mining Bitcoin using their washing machine? I thought the future would be flying cars. Instead, it's light bulbs that need software updates. I feel this so hard. Right now, I've got a brand new pair of headphones right on the floor next to me, but I can't use them because I can't update them because I haven't updated my computer to download the update software. It is an absolute mess. When you just want to turn on your bedroom light but have to watch a one minute ad for first god forbid it's laundering bitcoins now very good all right next my boyfriend's mum re-gifted me this blanket for christmas that i'd recently gifted her for her birthday oh that's so sad re-gift it back to her on her next birthday that's exactly what i was thinking it looks like a nice blanket to be fair i'd take that Every time my girlfriend gets drunk, biting into a block of cheese is crazy. I actually grew up with a family friend who used to just eat butter with a spoon. Not only is that definitely way less healthy, but it wasn't even when he was drunk. Like literally just chilling in the middle of the day with a tub of butter and a spoon. So I think this guy should count himself lucky. I swear there's like a book passage that went viral talking about how much women love cheese. Hear this, you may fascinate a woman by giving her a piece of cheese from spells, charms, and incantations. Maybe I need to buy this book. To be fair as well, there are worse traits like some people's partners get drunk and cheat, so I consider this a blessing. All right, next. Neighbors installed this to stop trucks from entering our residential area. Fire trucks and ambulances will not be able to go through as well. That is so stupid. And illegal as well, surely. Like, surely you need some sort of planning permission to do something like this. Why are all our Amazon packages in a pile out on the street? Moving vans, delivery trucks, maintenance vehicles, cranes, garbage I mean they have not thought about any of this how you get to the stage where you've actually built it without considering any of those options is ridiculous all right next my Amazon order okay I get this exact same that is ridiculous that's the worst I've ever seen but I get this all the time the other day I got the biggest box delivered to my front door and inside of it was like a box a quarter of the size that had my product in but it was like very well packaged like plenty of protection I mean I'd probably rather that than it getting absolutely destroyed at least mine was filled with like this like brown paper that you could recycle. All this plastic, what an absolute waste for one cup. What a joke. This is a good question though. Who orders a single plastic cup like this? What a weird purchase. So my boyfriend made me a bracer. Okay, that looks quite nice. I've been in a long distance relationship for about six months and until last week, I was fairly happy. I love doing live role playing and crafting gifts for friends and family. Among other things, I made a bracelet and a 108 bead mala, which is some kind of rosary for meditation and gifted him those for his birthday and Christmas. How sweet. I never asked for anything in return and I'm fully aware not everybody is adept at crafting, but for months he has hinted at making something for me too. He told me he likes to sew in his spare time and eventually revealed the gift to be a bracer in a video chat. I was very impressed with this craftsmanship. The Christmas parcel arrived last week mailed on the 26th i was overjoyed wearing the bracer singular he told me he had enough time to make two under my clothes all day because it made me so happy that someone made time and effort to craft something for me until the moment i browsed for something else on amazon and suddenly saw the company sold a pair for 1990 which looked mighty familiar no way that is exactly it oh that's so sad what's he done just kept the other one so he's basically lied and 
given her what is essentially 10 euros worth of this 20 euro purchase. When I called him out on it, he claimed to have ordered the parts and assembled them himself, as well as sewn it together. Of course, he made no pictures of the process, and when I asked to see the leftover material, the stuff he produced, took him a while because he's supervising his son's homework, took precedence, didn't even look remotely similar to any part of the bracer to me. Obviously. When I told him this, he left, and I haven't heard from him since. Oh, that's awful. That's so mortifying. I mean, why you'd get caught up in such an obvious lie. Fair enough if it's something you bought in a local store, but like, what is probably front page of Amazon? Error. All right, next up, that mug. Happy Father's Day. No way. Oh, this is one of those terrible drop shipping ones. They've just uploaded the image of the mug with the song. They've just uploaded this image straight onto the mug rather than Happy Father's Day. That is awful. Why the hell does it come with a spoon? This is arguably better because it's so dumb. To be fair, a dad on Father's Day would find that absolutely <laughs> hilarious. I'd still give it to him. I feel like my dad would enjoy that. All right, next up. Been asking my boyfriend to stop leaving hair on the shower wall. Go in today and there's a hair guitar. A hair guitar. A what? Straight after a Father's Day post as well. Very good. That is actually remarkably good as well. I appreciate his talent. Yeah, you should. Hope that's hair from his head though. All right, next. Roommate always pays rent in $1 bills. Why? My roommate works as a bartender so he gets loads of one dollar bills he usually keeps the bigger bills and pays the rent with the ones okay i've told him various times to please change the bills before paying but he takes it like a joke at first it kind of was but now it's annoying he's also late on his rent payment for january okay late rental payment annoying paying him one dollars kind of funny surely he's just passing it on to the landlord anyway or the bank so who cares all right next 10 year old son broke a double pane window with a ping pong shot oh i only broke the first pane i was gonna say if it broke the first pane of the second one sign this guy up to the olympics still actually shattering a single pane like that is also quite impressive he hit the ping pong ball from 20 feet away got a coin in 1600 dollars to replace the entire window apparently you can't just replace the glass i get the feeling he probably threw the racket at it that is a ridiculous amount of damage to do with a ping pong ball i would genuinely be like okay recreate it smash this bit of the window pane with the exact same force then and i bet he couldn't all right next this bathroom mirror in my hotel room hello there oh my goodness i'm five two i mean you are tiny and can't use the bathroom mirror no steps still provided i mean maybe they should that is quite a high up mirror but you are short maybe try growing <laughs> maybe that's actually how you look Great, another unrealistic body expectation for women. Why don't women look like this in real life? Moving on, showing up late to a planned dinner. Okay, I have the meat and onions ready at 5.11. Okay, coming soon. Okay, see you soon. 7.20 p.m., two and a half hours late. I mean, two hours, nine minutes, but I'll forgive you for rounding up when you're angry. So sorry, talking to big grandma and Jenny and Kim and her parents, coming so soon. I can't believe you're so late. Two hours talking to big grandma. What the hell? <laughs> Who's big grandma? Oh, it's his parents. My parents are notorious for showing up late. If a party is three, you can expect them at 4.30. I mean, if they're notorious for showing up late, maybe ask them to come a lot earlier than you want them to. Like if the food's ready at five, maybe invite them for three. But you know, I'm not here to victim blame. Really the parents should just be coming on time. No way. Billboards going up and down the coast during my vacation. Home buying can be a beach. That you know, I don't even want to read it that's ridiculous we were joking earlier about light bulbs giving you adverts or whatever being on a beach and getting served ads is ridiculous people were talking about this the other day talking about like how drones are gonna start lighting up the sky with adverts here smart green advertising in the sky aerial advertising may seem antiquated but in a world full of digital marketing it may be a great tool for brands to stand out not a great tool no one is gonna like your brand if you're filling the nice blue sky or the nice starry sky with your crappy adverts by using drones sustainable skylines makes aerial ads safer more effective and significantly more environmentally friendly no to all of those things we want to see the sky drone startup plans to turn sky into an advertising space candy crush says new york city skyline no one wants this the new york city skyline to be lit up with candy crush ads this is sick we need laws against this now i will not buy your product if i see an ad for it at the fucking beach too right all right next people rendering the concept of reusable cups useless my goodness this is one of those things isn't it these are these Stanley Cups that 
just randomly, inexplicably become an internet trend. And someone realized the other day that they're filled with lead, like brain melting lead. It reminds me of this. Altogether, researchers estimate leaded gas has reduced the nation's cumulative IQ score by 824 million points, which is nearly three points per person. That's due to lead exposure in the US. That is mental. In a country where not a lot of them can afford to lose IQ points. And it looks like it's happening all over again. This person's IQ score is gonna be in the single digits in a week. Oh, rough. TA forgets to remove the part of the email where Prof mocks my question before responding. Look at this, lol. Oh dear. Hi professor, I was reading and I have a clarifying question. That is tragic. This could have been a professor of mine at grad school who said there are no dumb questions, only dumb people who ask them. There are no dumb questions, only inquisitive idiots. That's so funny. All right, next. Roommate's new one of a kind clock from Etsy. Looks quite nice to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, twelve. Nice. We've had one nine o'clock, yes. But what about second nine o'clock? Don't think he knows about second nine o'clock pip. Oh, fuck off that. Nice little Lord of the Rings reference for you. Don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. My partner's concepts. Your phone is ready. I can pick it up. I want to know your password so we can try Apple Pay or you pick up yourself. You can pick it up after you work out. I was at the gym whilst my phone was being repaired. They called my wife to say it was ready. And she texted his phone that was in the store. Brilliant. All right, next. The weight didn't feel right. That's just going to be half empty, isn't it? It's completely empty with maybe some water or something in it. What the hell? Look out when I catch you. Okay, I know this really sucks, but usually in these situations, the companies overcompensate to make it right. If you contact the company with this video, they'll probably give you multiple cases to make up for it. So I might've gotten a W. A nice positive glass half full outlook. All right, next, my bag of frozen veg said it contained corn, carrots, peas, and broccoli. These are the entire contents of the bag. One measly, Flora of broccoli. <laughs> All right, next. When two overthinkers meet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's so jokes. That ended so wrong just because they're both trying to merge so slowly and so far apart. <laughs> it literally is overthinking. Classically captured. All right, next. My parents decided to clean my fish tank because it made my room look messy. Oh no, what have they done with the fish? My parents came over to visit for a few days and saw how messy my bedroom was. I was out today and came home to this. The tanks were completely empty, my fish put inside a measuring cup. Needless to say, I was infuriated, but I understand their intentions were good. They're old and I cannot blame them. But to think years of hard work could be demolished in seconds. Crikey. I realize non-aquarium people wouldn't know how bad this is, but damn. Killed your cycle, destroyed the aquascaping, and I'm guessing stressed the f*** out your fish. As an avid aquarium keeper for many years, I know exactly how hard this hurts. Maybe you can salvage some filter media or anything wet to restart your cycle. Hope your plants made out alive. My condolences. I've never owned one of these myself, but I love reading about them online and the amount of effort people go in to sort of make this habitat perfect and the amount it can be undone, especially if they use like bleaches or soaps or, jeez. Oh here, update, they use powdered laundry detergent to clean the tanks. I'm laughing and crying right now. Oh my goodness. Mildly infuriating. I don't know shit about fish, but I would be livid. Mildly because I'm trying my best to keep my shit together right now. I mean, he says I can't blame them. I know they were trying to do a nice thing, but how hard is it to not touch other people's belongings without asking them first? Retirement home looking mad juicy right now. Oh dear. Well, I feel like that last one was bordering on extremely infuriating. and was getting kind of niche, so now it's probably the right time to end this video. So if you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed so you can catch the next one. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.